right, welcome to another video here. Today we're gonna to be demonstrating a typical CPU cooling method used on, on almost every computer, whether it be a desktop, server, or laptop, which is the air cooler. Here's a stock one from Intel, came off of a i7, uh, came off an i7 11th gen. Uh, and this is basically it for a CPU. You have the fan up here. This is what we call active cooled, where there's an active fan here, spinning, bringing airflow through the through the actual cooler itself. On the back side here, you have the mounting points. Uh, depending on what generation of CPU you have on the so and what socket, what manufacturer depends on what mounting points you have. Here is what we call the push on style, where it goes in, clicks into place. Some others. Like on the Xeon class, they're screwed in where you have to physically get a screwdriver. And um, an AMD, it's a single clip that goes from one side to the other and it closes in. So um, there's really nothing much here that can go wrong on a CPU heatsink. Um, these fans is really the only thing that goes bad and these are user replaceable. Uh, we do... You know, the only really major maintenance you have to do to these things is keep the dust clean. And if the fan goes bad, you replace it. That is one of the many things we do here for for machine maintenance is we make sure everything is cool. The fins are not clogged with, um, with dirt, dust, debris. Um, the fans are usually different than from the case. As you see here, we have a four pin connector. So the four pins are power positive power negative your tack signal and your signal for the speed because these can vary their speed so the reason why they vary their speed is because um one of the main one of the, the biggest enemies of a computer is heat and when you make it work or you know when you have lots of things open or you're having to compute something the more you make it work the more heat it produces so you want to keep it actively cooled as what's in this case is with the fan there's another version where some laptops or no or notebooks and even some desktops if they're very low powered they're they're passively cooled where it's just the heat sink there's no fan and that way you get a truly silent experience and there's really nothing to to replace um over time like i said these things do get dirt and dust just from being in the environment there's dust in the air at all times so um as part of our computer and equipment maintenance we go through it we clean the fan we clean the heat sinks uh this is another important piece here is the thermal compound whenever we take the fan off we normally take the the whole cpu heat sink off clean the whole thing reapply thermal paste the reason why thermal paste is on here is because even though the as you see this shiny copper there's various materials it's made out of sometimes you'll see this thing made out of complete aluminum and another case like this one, you'll see a copper heat sink and a copper slug inserted and then the aluminum around it. I'll get to why the shape is the way it is and why it looks in a minute. But um, but even on this machine surface, if you look at a microscope and you really get down into it, you'll see that even though this looks and feels smooth, there's actually microscopic peaks and valleys. And what the thermal paste does is it flattens out those peaks and valleys and makes it as smooth as possible so when you put the heat sink on the heat spreader of the cpu you get a true connection between both materials and both surfaces so heat can conduct through from one side to the other so the reason why the cpu is this funky shape with all these fins is because believe it or not heat and electricity are attracted well not attracted they accumulate at sharp edges and corners than they do in solid pieces um and there's believe it or not an actual mathematical formula proving why that's so uh a professor a long time ago when i was in engineering class uh showed me the formula don't ask me to remember it was way too long ago but basically the reason the easiest way to explain it is is because there's more surface area at these at these fins and corners than there is at at a solid piece so heat spreads out which is what you want you want the heat to go to the edges so the fan can carry the heat away 
uh, normal air temperature, uh, correction, normal room temperature is fine. You know, for these things, they, they have a range in which they operate. I believe it's from 90 degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius is usually what they're rated for. Um, anyway, um, and uh, another reason why it's shaped like this is for packaging reasons. Um, this one, like I said, belonged to an i7. I, I think it was a 10700F, if I remember correctly. And this is there's this is what typically a stock cooler from the factory looks like. You can buy replacement coolers. I've seen coolers where they're about as big as your hand to even about as big as your forearm. I've even seen some where they're, they're not even cooled by air. They're actually cooled by liquid. That'll be another subject for another time. 99% of everything you do on a computer that that you see in your household or in industrial applications is mainly air cooled. So once again, you know, there's really nothing here. The biggest thing is just make sure the... The, the fans and the and the fins are clean and free of dust and debris. That's what we do here as part of our typical maintenance. And uh, when the fans do die, which is the reason why you need the four pin, because uh, the tack signal is important. Because the tack signal is what's telling the, the computer that the fan is spinning. And, uh, and the reason why they vary their rate is because... There's no sense in having this thing run at full speed when the computer is barely doing any work and barely generating any heat. You're just wasting energy and you're creating a whole bunch of noise. These fans, when they're running at full tilt, can get pretty darn loud. So the reason why we have four is because the signal wire tells the, the fan how fast or how slow to run. And the tack is what's telling the computer, hey, you know, I told it to spin at 80% power and I'm getting 80% of the rated RPM it is giving. If if it's telling to run at 100% and it's reading zero, that's what tells the computer you'll get an error message on your computer saying, hey, the fan is no longer working, please replace. Usually when that happens, the computer will either turn back off or it'll enter what we call a low power mode where it barely produces any heat and the computer will might run really slow to prevent itself from literally cooking itself to death. That's why having a properly installed and a proper heat sink is very important because like I said, heat is the main enemy of a CPU. Without any way of cooling it, they will literally cook themselves to death. And you, there's even videos you could look up where they cook eggs on top of a CPU. That's how hot they get. Well, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope to see you all in the next one.